Hi, we're going to discuss the three secrets of marriage. My name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And I have to tell you that it was about 23 years ago that I was as ignorant about marriage as everyone else. I was a divorce mediator and I helped people get a divorce. I regret that, but there's nothing you can do. We live in a world that's filled with bad information about marriage. The Marriage Foundation not only has great information about marriage, but we heal thousands of them. Use our course for men or our course for women. Go to our website, see that we have tons of free materials. And we also have things that are affordable, like the courses, books, but you need to know these things. So now we have three secrets of marriage. Don't you love it when they're secrets? They're only secret because we should be learning these things. Number one secret of marriage is that it's not what you think it is. What you think it is, is probably what we hear every day. It's a formal relationship. It's a legal relationship and there's rules and bounds and blah, 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 blah. It's nothing like that. It's spiritual. That's the secret. It's spiritual. Why does that matter? It's spiritual and it matters because that means we have to apply spiritual laws, not man's laws. And this is not a religious sermon. We're not a religious organization, but it's the truth. Why is it spiritual? What makes it spiritual? Well, what's marriage all about? Your mind is probably going, well, commitment, yeah. But why do we get married? We fell in love. Who did we fall in love with? Our soulmate. There you go. Soulmate, soul, love. What's more spiritual than love? People who don't understand think that love is an emotion. But when you have been at a wedding and there's that moment at every single wedding, when if you look around, everyone's got tears in their eyes, they're overwhelmed with what? Love. You're supposed to be experiencing that love constantly in your marriage. The reason why you're not is because you don't know. If your marriage is not failing, if it's just got a few bumps, Get one of my books. It'll blow your mind as to how much help you'll get from that. If it's failing though, you need to get one of the courses. But we apply spiritual laws to spiritual things, just as we apply material laws to material things. This is secret number one. Now it's not a secret that's hidden from you anymore. Secret number two, there is a guiding principle to marriage. Pole stars, the guiding principle is that you get married again for a spiritual reason. And what is that spiritual reason? To learn how to love unconditionally. If I tell you, oh, just love your spouse unconditionally. It's useless nonsense. You can't just love your spouse unconditionally. Think about how you love your kids. And that's not completely unconditionally because it's somewhat compelled because of our biology. There are kids and it's part of what is in our every single cell of our body pushing us learn to love unconditionally. It is a lifetime pursuit. Why is this such a big deal? Well, yeah, it's going to make your marriage amazing by focusing on you learning to love your spouse rather than waiting for them to love you. Learn to love your husband, your wife unconditionally. It lifts you above the mundane world. The mundane world is all about what you gain and what you lose, what you experience, what you forget, what you learn. But love 
transcends all of that. Love is where it's at. The Beatles had it right. All you need is love. And then you manifest it in your marriage. And so you be very careful. Don't do, say, or think anything that isn't filled with unconditional love. It's a big secret of marriage. Valuable secret. One that is no longer a secret. Did I just almost sound like Yoda then when I said, it's a big secret of marriage. It is a wonderful, wonderful guiding principle. Learn to love unconditionally. The third secret is something that you kind of already know, but you don't. Everyone knows that loyalty is important. And I'm not just talking about the kind of loyalty that you're not cheating on your spouse. I mean, come on, that's such basic guardrail. You don't look at other women if you're a man. You don't think about movie stars if you're a woman. That's basic. Loyalty goes much further. And that's the third secret. That loyalty is the highest spiritual law. And we must guard ourselves against temptation. You see, we live in a world that is not such a wonderful place. Let's be honest. This is not heaven. This is not he This is heaven with mosquitoes that don't just suck your blood, but they poison you first. With snakes slithering around, waiting for their opportunity to bite you for no reason whatsoever. For people wanting to take everything that you have and leave you with nothing because that will enrich them and they don't care about you. This is not heaven. This is hell. But your marriage is a place. I call it the sacred space of marriage where you can create heaven, a microcosm within this world that is your heaven. Marriage is your heaven. And loyalty is the highest spiritual law. So when you learn to live loyally, 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 yeah, why not? When you learn to live loyally, when you learn to love unconditionally, when you see your marriage as a spiritual sacred space. Those are the secrets that won't be secrets forever because our world is evolving. But for us, they're secrets right now. Take advantage of what you have just learned and subscribe to this channel. Learn and apply, learn and apply. Go to our website, see what we have. If you're already a psychologist who does couples counseling, become a TMF marriage counselor. Learn and apply. We have a course for you. We have all sorts of stuff. Fourth secret is that the Marriage Foundation has it all. <laughs> okay. I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. Thank you for visiting. God bless you. Take care.